Hello there. I'm going to explain a hexagram reading regarding income inquiry. Now, a student asked me a question. His question. He asked, if I buy and put into practice this training for around two to three hours a week, will I gain at least two to three thousand euro in two months of time? And this is a good and clear question. All the important aspect to ask a question has included. Next, he explained to me that since my actual worry is to find money and I've seen an affordable training in finding good houses to show to investors, which should lead participants to be paid as a middleman without needing to spend anything in the houses themselves. I've decided to, I've decided to try to pass on it using what you have told me for gold. So I'm still not really get what it means. Probably the practice in his question means to sell houses and get a commission. Now, one very important thing, when we cast on any question that is related to money receiving, especially work to earn, two months time can be sometimes classified as speculation unless it is really hard and tough work. So what does speculation mean? Now, not every person see their investment as speculation. You see, I've been hung around with many stock market investors and many of the investors, the definition of speculation is something like a warrant. But still, some people would think that a warrant is not speculation. It is an investment to them. Now, this is really far-fetched. So every different person has their own definition. In divination, a definition is very important. Now, I will explain this in another video or write them on my blog in the future. So we have to set the definition of speculation like this. If the money earning process is something quick, then it is not really allowed to us. The quick money here is having some exceptions. We will talk about this exception later. Anyway, you can definitely ask questions related to quick money, I mean. But you have to understand, your hexagram will have the chance of not getting any valid information. In my many years of involvement in this field, I'd always hear people say that hexagram always responds to us. Now, this is really a huge misleading statement. Explaining why this can happen is quite complicated and so I will not explain in this video. You can read my second book, Grasping the Change of the I Ching, to have an initial understanding of this problem. Now, back to this. Let's go to the setting next, see what he has said. So he said, I use asset as ME, the meta element, establish that if asset or offspring line move, it is a positive answer. And self line for me, of course. I attach the picture of the hexagram that I got. And this is the hexagram picture for me. Now, let's look at what he has analyzed. The two asset lines don't move, but the three moving lines go to generate each other at the last one being reached is the transform Shi asset line and the self line is metal. So could it mean that I get the whole benefit? Okay, I assume the whole benefit means earning the amount of money that he mentioned, which is the two to 3,000 euro in two months time. Now, first thing first, if this hexagram is really about speculation, then this line five officer line that is in void is telling that this is an invalid hexagram. Kwasan is telling that, nah, I'm not going to let you know the answer. And the line 5 transform line is returning to generate the opposite line. This is a very strong message from Kwasan that, as long as you keep asking this kind of question, I will keep ignoring you. So this is a warning. And if this question is not about speculation, then this is quite a very auspicious hexagram. We can see that it has a total of three asset lines that are moving and two offspring lines that are moving, all these moving lines can be mean that this particular project can make income. Listen, I say income, 
I did not say it is a good income. In divination or bugs or whatever, we need to try to quantify the outcome. Otherwise, what can you really benefit from the reading? Look at a 14 years old Indian boy who has always made predictions lately. Ask yourself what society has really benefited from his accurate prediction. Does his prediction fulfill the three keys of divination? Anyway, this is not a topic of this video, so let's go back. Let's look at all these three moving lines. These three lines are actually talking about the same single event. It is a continuous progress hexagram. From line 2, we can see that the offspring line is entering into line 4, and the line 4 officer line is entering into line 5. All of this is actually referring to one after the following event. Let me explain this from line 2. Line 2, we have sibling line that is able to fight out which means you need to pay some extra money to make the income some expenses that is needed at this stage you will not make any money and then once it is paid the sibling line will generate the offspring line this time the client started to get generated you will start to see your prospect so these expenses is something quite important before you started this project we can see this from the body of the hexagram, which is the Kwasan in Mandarin. Also, line 2 that is attached with the arranger and holding the parent line, this means property investment, some hard-earned money, and can also mean not being flexible enough in creativity or your sales pitch, not easy to break to. So, the first step is quite tough and something definitely has to look at this problem in more depth from the reality side. Next, the offspring line is entering into life four and it turns caging. At this stage, it means your prospect is getting lesser or ineffective. The ineffective here can be means not really a potential customer. Or it can also mean that after showing the houses, your prospects don't like it. So wasting your time and effort serving someone that is not right. And then this officer line is again entering into line 5, which is then turning into returning restriction. So this means the prospective client's problem will be getting serious in the future. Now, that is the reason I explained earlier that it is not really a good income. Some problems there and you need to fix them as quickly as possible so that your objective can be met quickly and maximize your profit. If we can make 50,000, why bother to make 30,000? That is why an effective prediction is what we should look for. Don't just look for divination to see the future. It is useless. Next, how this can happen? I mean, who created the problem? Who helps to solve the problem? You can try to see from line 4, line 5, and line 6. Other than this, this hexagram still has many things to tell, like the hidden clashing hexagram, the encircling of the asset lines, so on and so forth. Let us keep moving to the next question. So this student said, and I don't remember if the fact that the second hexagram has Sun Zitun can have an impact on this. Now this is a very common misunderstanding part, especially for those who came from aging text-based divination. In Wulwangkwa, those lines being transformed should not be read, like this transform hexagram. We have Sun over here, Z over here, and Turn over here. But this Z and Turn is not valid. Basically, we should ignore all the transformed static lines. The reason all those transformed static lines are displayed from the generator is because we have some other analysis technique to use. Anyway, this shall not be read before students enter into the hidden truth level. So this is not a trick combo. Now the last question. This student asked, could the fact that Sun Yo, officer also on the self line, are in the void means that I can or I will reach this goal just after this void has been filled. Like after two months in day X, even though I think of October to be more realistic. Now, first of all, to interpret void, it has some techniques. 
it can be quite complicated and it will take very long to explain. So to make it simple, this hexagram has two basic meanings. One is this students is not confident or we shall say it, not really having any plans to go with this project. Or we can also say that there are still many uncertainty that this student hasn't find out yet. Now, this student is from a country that I'm not familiar at all with the culture over there. And this will make me having difficulty to explain what are those uncertainty actually. The void here should be referring to not familiar in this field. That is why once the void is filled, this student will spoil on his own sales. So that is basically the whole situation of this hexagram. So to proceed or not to proceed, this student has to decide by his own.